Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality or controlled your dreams like a master puppeteer? If so, you've dipped your toes into the world of lucid dreaming and virtual reality. These two phenomena, seemingly worlds apart, are actually intertwined in fascinating ways, each exploring the boundaries of perception and consciousness. Lucid dreaming, as the name suggests, is a state in which you're aware that you're dreaming. Imagine, if you will, being the director, the actor, and the audience in the theater of your mind. You're not merely a passive observer in this world, but an active participant, able to shape the narrative, the characters, even the scenery itself. It's a realm where the laws of physics are mere suggestions, and your wildest fantasies can come to life. On the other hand, we have virtual reality, a technology that immerses you in computer-generated environments. It's like stepping into a digital painting, a world crafted from pixels and code. Here you can scale the highest mountains, plunge into the deepest oceans, or even explore alien worlds, all from the comfort of your living room. Unlike lucid dreaming, where the control is subjective and can be elusive, virtual reality provides structured control through programmed scenarios. It's a tangible, visceral experience that's only limited by the extent of our technology. Yet despite their differences, lucid dreaming and virtual reality both offer us a unique opportunity to explore new worlds, to experience things beyond our ordinary reality. They push the boundaries of our perception, challenge our understanding of consciousness, and offer us a glimpse into the infinite landscapes of the human mind. They're not just tools for entertainment, but powerful platforms for self-discovery, creativity, and even therapeutic applications. So, are you ready to dive deeper into these fascinating realms of perception? Let's delve into the science behind lucid dreaming. It's not magic, but it's pretty close. Now imagine being able to control your dreams, to manipulate the narrative, characters, and environment. This is what we call lucid dreaming. But how does it work? What's going on inside our brains when we lucid dream? Well, it all happens during the rapid eye movement stage of sleep, also known as REM. This is the stage when most dreaming occurs. Our brain activity during REM sleep is similar to when we're awake. It's a phase of slumber where the brain is buzzing with activity, neurons firing off as if we're up and about. Interestingly, when we lucid dream, this activity is enhanced. Areas of our brain associated with higher order cognitive functions light up. This includes the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, the part of our brain responsible for working memory and self-awareness. It's usually inactive during normal dreams, but during lucid dreams, it kicks into gear. This could explain why we become conscious and aware within our dreams. But let's talk about control. Unlike the structured control in virtual reality, control in lucid dreaming is subjective. It varies from person to person and dream to dream. Some people may have the ability to alter their dream environment, others might be able to control their actions, while some may simply be aware they're dreaming without any control at all. This control, or lack thereof, happens entirely within our sleep state. It's a fascinating display of the brain's incredible power and flexibility, even when we're not conscious in the traditional sense. So, what's the takeaway? Lucid dreaming is a complex, fascinating phenomenon that occurs during our sleep, it's a testament to the limitless capabilities of our minds, the intricate dance of neurochemical reactions, and the enigmatic nature of our consciousness. Lucid dreaming, then, is a sleep state where you're the director, the actor, and the audience all at once. Now let's switch gears and explore the science behind virtual reality. It's more than just a game, it's a whole new world. Virtual reality, often shortened to VR, is all about creating immersive environments. But how does it do that? Well, it's a clever combination of hardware and software. The hardware, often in the form of headsets or goggles, provides a stereoscopic display. This gives the illusion of depth and tricks your brain into perceiving the digital images as a three-dimensional world. But it's not just about what you see. Virtual reality also involves motion tracking. This is where sensors track the movement of your head, hands, and sometimes your whole body. The software then adjusts the images in response to these movements. So if you turn your head to the right, the virtual environment will shift accordingly, making it feel like you're really there. Now let's talk about control in virtual reality. Unlike lucid dreaming where control is subjective and can vary wildly, virtual reality provides structured control. This control comes from programmed scenarios created by developers. 
you can interact with objects, manipulate environments, and even influence the outcome of certain events. It's like being the director of your own personal movie. And unlike dreaming, you're fully conscious during a VR experience. That means you have a higher degree of control and can react in real time to the virtual environment. It's not just about passively watching a story unfold, it's about being part of the story. But remember, virtual reality isn't just about escapism. It's a tool for learning, for exploration, and for understanding new perspectives. With VR, we can simulate environments and scenarios that are otherwise inaccessible or dangerous. We can walk on the moon, dive into the deepest parts of the ocean, or even step into the shoes of someone else. In the realm of virtual reality, you're not just a passive observer, you're an active participant in a world of your own creation. So we've explored the science, but what about the practical applications and impact of lucid dreaming and virtual reality? The fascinating world of lucid dreaming offers a gateway to self-discovery and creativity. Imagine having an open canvas to paint your dreams, to experiment without the constraints of reality. Lucid dreaming allows for this boundless exploration of the subconscious mind, providing a unique platform for personal growth and introspection. Artists, writers and musicians often tap into this state to unleash their creativity, to unravel narratives and compositions that may seem elusive in wakefulness. Moreover, lucid dreaming has therapeutic potential. Psychologists are exploring its use in treating conditions like post-traumatic stress disorder and recurring nightmares. By gaining control over their dreams, individuals can confront and reshape traumatic scenarios, fostering healing and resilience. Now, let's shift our attention to virtual reality. This technology extends beyond gaming and entertainment. It's now making waves in various industries. In education, it's revolutionizing teaching methods by providing immersive learning experiences. Students can virtually explore ancient civilizations, delve into the human anatomy, or even walk on the surface of Mars. In healthcare, virtual reality is instrumental in pain management and rehabilitation. It's used to distract patients undergoing painful procedures and to help stroke victims regain motor skills. In the business world, virtual reality is transforming the way companies conduct meetings, train employees, and showcase products. Imagine being able to walk through a property halfway around the world or test drive a car without leaving your living room. In essence, both lucid dreaming and virtual reality are powerful tools that allow us to explore beyond the boundaries of our perception. They enable us to create and experience realities that are tailored to our desires and needs. Whether you're navigating the landscapes of your subconscious or exploring a digital universe, the possibilities are truly endless. As we come to the end of our exploration, let's reflect on the unique experiences and limitless possibilities offered by both lucid dreaming and virtual reality. Our journey has taken us through the intricate science behind these two fascinating phenomena, and we've uncovered some intriguing insights along the way. Lucid dreaming, a state where you have control over your dreams, is deeply personal and subjective. It is an experience that occurs in the REM stage of sleep, a time of heightened brain activity. This intimate journey into the subconscious allows for boundless self-discovery and creativity, making it a unique and deeply personal adventure. On the other hand, virtual reality immerses us in computer-generated environments, offering structured control through program scenarios. It's a journey that takes place in full consciousness, providing a tangible yet alternate reality. The applications of virtual reality are vast, spanning various industries and opening up a world of possibilities, from training simulations to immersive entertainment. In essence, both lucid dreaming and virtual reality offer unique experiences, Lucid dreaming provides an internal exploration, a dive into the depths of our subconscious, while virtual reality presents an external expedition, an exploration of digitally crafted worlds. Yet what truly sets them apart is their limitless potential. The possibilities for self-discovery, creativity and practical applications are vast and ever-expanding. The boundaries of our perception are continually pushed and redefined, inviting us to explore, learn and grow. In the end, it's not a matter of lucid dreaming versus virtual reality. It's about embracing both these experiences as avenues for exploration and understanding. The key lies in harnessing the power of our minds, whether it's in the realm of our dreams or the digital landscapes of virtual reality. 
Remember, whether you're exploring the depths of your dreams or the frontiers of virtual reality, the only limit is your own imagination.